Hello guys and welcome. In this video, I will show you how to support multiple languages using Language Manager uh, iOS library. So let's start. Okay, so first we will make new project. Name it whatever you want. I will say I will name it uh, language app. Next anywhere uh, then we will add the pod uh, the language manager pod to our app I will share the link uh, in the description below so we we'll go to the terminal Okay, so pod, pod net, we will have new file, the pod file, uh, open the pod file, and for the pod file, you will add the language manager iOS. Pod. If you scroll down, you will find it support uh, cartridge and uh, pod. We will take the pod, go back, put it here, save, back to the terminal, and put install. Okay, that's it done. We will open the work space. We will have the pods and our app. Now, before doing anything, we need to add the localizable uh, strings file. So right click the new file, search for string, string file, next, localizer.string, create. We will select it, again go to the localize, press on it. Then now we have just the English uh, language. Next thing we will go to the our project. Then select a, then select the project. Add the language you want. You can add whatever you want. For me, I'll add Arabic. In this menu, just select the localizable dot string. Finish. Okay, so you can see here we have now English and Arabic. And you will notice that now you have two files in the strings, one for English and one for Arabic. Now we'll go to the storyboard. We'll add a label. You can write whatever you want here in the label, like hi. And I will add another button to change the language to English English and another one to change it to Arabic also you can change direction of the image using this library like if you have image let's add one another image as you can see here we have image direction so 
if you if you have image and you want to change it from left to right or right to left you can use this one and uh, after that go to the localizable.string for english we need to add the same text we added in the um, storyboard as a key so you go to storyboard take it copy paste then put the te any text you want i'll keep it as high for english and for arabic i'm gonna make it say high in arabic Uh, okay after that go to the app delegate import the library import language manager iOS now in the did finish launch with options you can do like this language manager dot shared dot default language dot english or you you can select whatever you want for me i will keep it as english now this default language it's uh, the first language that i will run with so i'll keep it as english now we'll go back to the uh, storyboard and add ib action outlet for the buttons change to English and change to Arabic okay so now you, you you need to take the view controller that you need to run after changing the language like which view controller you want so i will select or make i will keep the same view controller so let report The name of the storyboard is main and then it's run get view controller equal your storyboard dot you'll take the uh, initial view controller okay don't forget to import the language manager so you can use it language manager dot share dot set language we will select the second one now here you will select the language you want like I will, this one changed to english you will keep it to english and the root view controller we will pass the view controller and here you can implement animation for this uh, view if you add any animation here it would it will animate from one language to another like I can add here as uh, make it scale scale up and change to alpha to zero okay we'll do same thing for Arabic but we'll pass here Arabic in the language Okay, let's run the app and see what will happen. Let's delete the simulator. Run the app again. Okay, so now it's in English as we selected the default language as English. If you change it to Arabic, you see oh it's cropped. So let me just change the size. Okay, 
here, change the size. Run again. Yeah, okay, now it's in Arabic. Can change it to English or Arabic. As you can see also, there is an animate, animation between the two uh, languages. Now for the image, I'll show you how also it will work. So I'm going to bring uh, an image. Yeah, so for the images, we have this uh, finger pointing to the right. So in, in the Arabic language, we will make it point to the left. So there for this, uh, for this property, if you don't want the image to change, you can keep it as zero. The image will not change. It will keep pointing to the right. If it is in the English, you will keep it like this. If the image is from right to left, then you need to keep the value as two. So if it's this pointing to the left, you need to keep it two. So when you change the language, it will point to the right. For us, it's English writing to the pointing to the right. So we'll keep it as one. Let's run the app again and see what will happen. So for English, it's pointing to the right. For Arabic, it's pointing to the left. Yeah, that's it. If this video helped you, don't forget to share it with your friends. Thank you.